everybody so i thought let me do a kind of like a vlog so i can show you guys my content creation day today is saturday the 19th of august 2023 so what i usually do on the weekends there have been some people that have been asking me that hey clantus you have a nine to five how come you are able to be so consistent with uploading videos on your channels and then i'm like okay let me answer this question in a type of a vlog so you get to see how i create all my content that i am posting on my channels of course on my main channel i cannot uh, pre-shoot anything because i have to report as it happens like in real time because it's a court case but with this channel considering now that it is a youtube education and business education type of channel so it makes it a little bit easier for me to show you how i create my content so that i do not miss out on any uploads so in case you're wondering okay i'm trying to get as close as possible to the because i don't want youtube to flag me for you know these days youtube you just don't understand it so i don't want this video to be deleted because they may have deemed it to be inappropriate so i'm just being as close as possible and youtube i'm a man i'm not a woman so yeah anyways so i just finished taking a shower and uh today because i'm going to be busy with content creation i am not going to use anything on my face other than petroleum jelly because if i'm going to use other chemicals like uh toner and moisturizers and things like that i'm going to be sweating bullets because i still have to clean first after cleaning i have to make breakfast after breakfast and then i sit down and start creating content so my weekends i usually call them my content creation weekend because that is when i batch film a batch film for all the channels that I have where you do like a sit down video. So now I'm just going to be putting some petroleum jelly on my face just to moisturize the face. I'm going to be looking at the screen finder or viewfinder, whatever this is called. And I've been on YouTube for almost four years now and I still don't know what this thing called. That's because I believe in looking at the lens and not at the screen view finder yeah i think that's what it's called so yeah now that i'm moisturized usually i also like moisturizing my neck because if i don't i start feeling itchy am i the only one who feels that way and you know i'm also using my camera and this camera i don't think i know how to set to set it properly because it gives like different quality of the video and it's so irritating sometimes it puts it Sometimes I'm too dark, sometimes I'm too light, sometimes I'm just the way I want to be. Like right now, I think this is how I want my videos to be like. Because I am a dark skinned boy after all, and um, I like what I'm looking at. Maybe to translate differently when I'm starting, when I start to edit. And I don't do like what you call these color corrections when I'm doing my editing. I know I'm supposed to be doing things like that color correction and what, what, what. Yes, now you know which part of the debate I fall under when it comes to quality versus quantity on YouTube. <laughs> For me, it's about content. Because I don't think people care about... They don't necessarily care about how the video looks like. I think what they care about is the content. They come to your channel because they want to learn something. 
or they want to be inspired by something. So whether that video is dark or whatever the case is, as long as the audio, as long as the audio, it is nice and loud because I've had a conversation with, um, I usually don't like calling you guys subscribers. So that is why I like these cute names. And on this channel, I call you guys business partners. So I had a conversation with a business partner uh, who DM'd me and said, hey, you know, I don't actually watch the videos that you post. I usually put earphones on like AirPods and then I do other things around the house while I'm listening to you. So can you imagine how audio is important when somebody is not going to be watching you, but listening to you? So if you have bad audio, then of course, they're going to have a very bad experience with your video. So it's very important that you have good audio. Uh, so when it comes to the visuals, okay, for visuals, you can go to the ones that care about the visuals. And then, of course, you're going to have to make sure that you you color correct and how are those things that are done. For me, as long as you can hear what I'm saying and you are listening and you are learning, then I'm okay. Okay, I think I'm done with what I just needed to do. I hope YouTube really doesn't flag this video for because I, I just don't have a t-shirt on. That's all YouTube. I don't have a t-shirt on. So this also goes to YouTube as a content creator. If you are coming out of the bathroom, don't come with your towel. YouTube is going to flag that video and delete it off the platform if it doesn't delete your channel altogether. So just be careful of that. Um, oh yeah. Let me put my roll on on. Huh. Let me do this secretly. I didn't want to discuss you. Male under armpits can be disgusting. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay, now that I look a little bit decent, let's go make breakfast. Uh, my breakfast is gonna be a little bit weird because I'm craving... Okay, you'll see, and I'll explain why. about to have my breakfast and I said I was going to explain to you why I'm making my breakfast this way so this was putu okay um I don't know how to explain it it's the same material that is made pup is made of the same material that's how much as I can say it. it's just that you put extra milli meal and then it becomes like this so I love putu I don't necessarily eat but because if I do, I get really, really hungry uh, in no time. It's as if I eat porridge. So this for me is a little bit more solid. So the reason why I didn't put anything else is just it alone. And I'm going to be drinking it with black coffee is because of, uh, I wouldn't say it's a habit. So, you know, when you used to be poor and then at home, there'll be nothing, maybe just milli meal and, uh, small sugar remember that small sugar remember sugar that was about this size i think you would buy it for like one rand two rand or something like that so at home whenever if we had improve for uh putu that was a meal for us so over the years for some reason i would have every possible food item in the fridge, in the pantry, everywhere. But I would choose to eat uputu and coffee. Usually I do this in the mornings for some reason. I don't know why. So I don't know what memory triggers for me. So that is why I am eating my breakfast with just uputu and black coffee. Maybe I'm reminiscing. I don't know. I don't know. So here we go. Oh, so this is how I eat it. I will put like a spoon or two in my mouth 
In this case, I'll put one, the one I just got you. And then, so that's how I'll eat it. So when I woke up this morning, I was like, you know, I want to have putu and black coffee. Uh, I haven't ate that in a while. Maybe it's been two years since I've done this. So it does happen periodically. Uh, sometimes it should just be rice and um, I don't know if you know what umpopusho is. It's like water mixed with sugar. Some people call it starch water. We Zulus in case then we call it umpopusho. So... I remember one time when I was eating it, my mom was not happy with me. She's like, I'm calling poverty back. And I'm like, no, I'm just craving it. That's it. <laughs> so I am done eating. It is time basically to clean. And I think the first thing I'm going to clean is my YouTube studio right there <laughs> yeah my YouTube studio is in my bedroom so all of this I have to take it and put it on the bed wipe the table take the chair um, take the gaming chair put it aside down on the floor there's a carpet so I need to of course clean the carpet like sweep it because it's got like breadcrumbs and all the other stuff that I do uh, when I eat, I eat there because I'm always busy. Either I am planning a YouTube video, researching a YouTube video, or watching YouTube videos to support some of you who are content creators, or I'm just sitting there uh, looking into space, or whatever the case is. So that is my YouTube studio right there. Or you will call it home YouTube studio, whichever way you want to call it. That is that. So yeah. So that's the bathroom right there. So I closed that door deliberately because I don't want to discuss you. It's, yeah, I'm about to clean. Saturdays are my cleaning days as well. So once I'm done cleaning, you guys are going to see me sitting down. And basically, I'll be time-lapsing all the days that I am going to be uploading a video on this channel. So I decided that I am going to upload every single day for the rest of August. And the reason why I'm doing that is because... I want to see something with the algorithm. I want to see what are the changes that the algorithm has done so that when I come before you and I say, hey, if you're a new YouTuber, upload every single day for the next, they will see for the next how long uh, before you start seeing traction on your channel. Because the YouTube algorithm changes almost every time. So sometimes you need to keep up with some other things. Sometimes you discover things accidentally. Sometimes YouTube will be like, okay, we are doing an update here. This is the update. So this for me is an experiment because I suspect that the algorithm uh, is at a certain position right now and I want to test it out so that I can come back and say, hey, listen, upload every single day for the next two weeks or upload every single day for the first week or whatever the case is so that you will start seeing traction on your channel. Remember, the algorithm is still collecting data on your particular channel. So let's see what happens. The reason why I raised my voice is because my neighbors starting to play popular music and secondly there's this other lady was busy screaming so i wanted to drown their voice together with this popular sound i don't want my video to get copyrighted anyways guys let's do the cleaning so that i can start showing you how i do my content creation so today i'm going to be doing three videos if i can i will push it into four videos and i will show you the process
well so that is how i clean my youtube home studio that is it's clean now i think and i'm a little bit satisfied now what i'm going to do is now clean around the studio because i need to start in the bathroom come into the living come into my bedroom into the living room the kitchen and then i'm done and then somewhere around midday this is when i'm gonna sit down and start my youtube creation day it begins right there i think it already started because of course i'm vlogging it's part of content right so there we go all right so i am now done cleaning and now what's next i just want to show you the outfits that i'm going to be wearing for each one of the days so so one of the fun things to do whenever you are doing batch filming is your outfits because you've chosen them ahead of the actual video that people are going to be watching because sometimes they will think that it was shot on that day when in fact it was shot a few days ago and so i'm just going to show you my outfits usually it's my t-shirts the stuff that you see so that little light that you see there it's a little too bright it has a remote but the remote is not working and every time when it's this bright it changes the quality of the video as well so i'm not quite sure how i'm going to fix that otherwise i'm just gonna have to ask owami how she does it because i see on her videos she's able to change it into different colors and it does the have like i think it has like 26 different colors orange red white and all that sort of stuff so right now it's showing the red youtube uh, short sign which is great but then i want it to be well defined in the background when i'm filming but anyways that is why it's always turned off because it's way too bright it, it kind of like alters everything and i hate that anyways let me show you my outfits okay here are my outfits so this particular t-shirt no no this one this one so this particular t-shirt right here, it is the first one you are going to see on a Monday video. This one, you are going to see it on a Tuesday video. This one, you are going to see it on a Wednesday video. And then of course, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, yes. As I said, you guys, I am going to be uploading videos every single day for the next seven days because I want to check out something or I want to see something. Uh, what is the algorithm or how the algorithm is going to react to me uploading every single day? So this is my outfits or these are my outfits that I'm going to be wearing. Of course, content creators rooms or studio always looks a little bit messy. You see the ring lights right there that is basically pointing at my outfits and then just right across is my youtube home studio yep that is my youtube home studio right there yeah i do keep the heater close by because it can get really really cold here and i have another one underneath the desk uh for my feet this one is just for the top of my body because I do get really, really cold, especially if my neck is cold. I'm not going to enjoy myself and my feet when they are cold. I'm not myself. So this is my studio. Let me just show you on this side so that you can. Also... So you can also see it from this angle as well. And then, of course, in the background is that YouTube short sign. And then my initials CD and uh, what else? The books that I have there, all those. So as you see, all of that. Those are empty. Uh, those are empty pages that I write my scripts. The one right at the bottom is scripts that I already um, done with. Those are videos that I'm already done with. Those are suites that you see right there as well. <laughs> uh, the books that I have there is stuff. Uh, I've read those books. I've got things fall apart. I've got uh, the Constitution. And all of this other stuff and my favorite picture of the horse love that picture i love horses anyways in case you didn't know yeah so that is it so now it's time to set up for video number one which is this video <laughs> for this t-shirt and then i think by two i would have been done with the two, uh, Tuesday video and hopefully by 6 I'll be done with the Wednesday video 
and then tomorrow which is sunday then i'll do the thursday video friday video saturday video and sunday video and then i'm done and then from there i'm just going to sit and wait and see how the algorithm reacted I think I'm done with my scripts and now it is time to start filming and I have to set up and uh, it's going to be quite interesting for you to see how I do my setup. I know I'm looking at you from above. That's because I want you to see the, uh, the bird eye view of how I actually prepare my script. I write on this white piece of paper on my scripts. If you are new here, usually when I write my scripts, I write in full sentences instead of bullet points because if I write in bullet points, I'm going to forget. So I rather write in full sentences so that I'm able to read the sentence and then able to uh, convey it on the video uh, so that you can hear me properly. Because if I'm going to do it in bullet point, my mind has a tendency of stopping and it can stop for a very long time. So when I have a script in front of me, at least I will know what to say. Now you can imagine the bloopers in my videos because it does take very long time when you write in full sentences of course you have to memorize basically the sentence rather than with bullet point. I think with bullet point is you must have, I think the people that do bullet points is because they already know the content like from like the back of their hands so that is why they're able to look at the point and then talk on that point. Me, even though I know the content and then I have some sort of authority around the content I still want to read full sentences so that I can be in my best element when I am in front of the camera, if that makes any sense. So yeah, let me set up and let's continue with this uh, content creation day. Other thing, okay, let me just uh, square here. So here I have my video uh, chart, as you can see. Okay, I can't. 
as you guys can see uh, that this is my video chart so as you can see i've got one two three four supposed to be <laughs> with the video on this side but i could not really jot it down but these are the videos that i'm going to be filming today there are four of them this is saturday today tomorrow i'm going to finish off three that are supposed to be this side of this whiteboard so that's how i so that is how i usually plan my youtube videos in case you are wondering and then i would have already done the research before i put them here on this whiteboard so in case you're wondering that's what i do the way my neck is so sore i've been working uh i think since uh 12 midday and as i said today is content creation day right now it is um uh, almost quarter past 6 p.m and it's low shedding so the lights just went off just when i was done just as when i was done now the reason why you are seeing lights is because i have an inverter it's right over i don't know if you'll be able to see it's right over there that's the inverter right right there so that is why you're able to see me because i turned it on and i'm able to have some lights for the next two hours that's a nice part about having an inverter so anyways guys uh i'm done with all the videos that i needed to do on saturdays five of them uh, of course uh, these episodes you are going to see them being uploaded during the course of the week like i said i am doing an experiment to see what will happen with the algorithm especially with this channel because i have not uploaded in this channel as far back as early january no not late, early january i think late january so it's been months since i stopped um uploading and of course the algorithm completely forgotten about me now it's time for me to convince it once again that i am serious with this channel and then i'm going to be taking it forward from this point on because some of you guys know that i've moved my youtube education content onto this channel from the main channel because that main channel has been hijacked by a lot of content I am doing a lot of law content there of the cases that are currently happening in our courts in South Africa. So now all the people that will subscribe to the channel for YouTube education, I think they felt neglected. So I thought, okay, let me just bring the content to this channel. So I hope that this content vlog that I put together for you, it is going to give you some kind of perspective and answer the question as to how do I keep consistent on my channels Considering the fact that I have a nine to five Saturdays and Sundays are my content creation days. So this is where I batch film all the sit down videos or videos that I consider a sit down video on a Saturday, edit them, edit some of them on Sunday. And during the course of the week, the closer I get to uploading a video 
that particular day then i would edit during the course of the day during my lunch breaks and when i get back home and then i schedule the video to be released the following day sometimes i sleep at two in the morning because i'm editing and making sure that i meet the deadline of uploading the video so it's a lot of work of course it's a lot of work it is a lot of work and uh, I think it's something that I also realize that I'm passionate about. I like doing what I do. I like having my nine to five. And I also like having YouTube channels and I like pumping content on those channels because at the end of the day, one of the channel is actually paying me. I monetize, actually I monetize on two channels, the true crime YouTube channel, I monetize there. It's just that I haven't posted content there yet, but I do see the money coming in, in as much as it's still pretty small and it cannot pay me out just as yet but i am getting paid there and uh i think so thus far i have about two no how much do i have there about 300 rand in south african rand so how much that is that is about 40 dollars 40 40 35 40 dollars i can't remember somewhere there that is how much i am making on that channel but sooner or later i'm going to start pumping content there as well and of course that money is going to start increasing so the main channel is the one that is making me money at this point in time. And of course, my goal is to get this channel as well to get monetized and start making me money. And uh, the goal for this channel is that by end of November, it should have made its first 1000 subscribers and sometime in December must have completed its 4000 hours of watch time because in January, that's will when I hit the full circle of 365 days and this is when I'm going to start losing the hours that I've already accumulated on this channel. So that's why I'm going to be uploading every single day for this week and then I'll wait and see how the algorithm is going to react in that. And then I will go back to uploading twice a week uh, going forward. But if it means that I upload every single day for the first two weeks in September, then I'm going to have to do that. Uh, to get to that 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. That means I will have to be very aggressive in uploading videos. And it's something that I'm prepared to do, by the way. I'm very much prepared to do. And uh, if you want to join me in these aggressive uploads, you're more than welcome because I think it's also going to help your channel. Hey, by the way, I'm also working on a video. Uh, it is, we are going into September and I think the earlier the better when we start preparing for Vlogtober. If uh, you think you want to participate in Vlogtober, please do so, especially if you are a vlogging channel. Uh, if you want to participate in Vlogtober, but you do something totally different from vlogging, I would rather you open a vlogging channel so that you can participate in Vlogtober because after Vlogtober, it's going to be November. That month, we'll be preparing for Vlogmas. So that means another vlogs for the next 25 days. Vlogtober it is uploading vlogs for 31 days, meaning from the 1st of October all the way to the 31st of October. And then for Vlogmas from the 1st of December to the 25th of December. So can you imagine all that content? Can you imagine how wild the algorithm is going to go as well in promoting and ensuring that you also uh, get a piece of success on the platform? So I would want you to participate in something like that, I hope so. So guys, I think I've spoken a long time because I also want this vlog not to be too long. I think a, YouTube, a typical YouTube vlog should be 30 minutes long. And as much as YouTube is going to make a lot of money out of a longer vlog because it's going to add many ads in there. So I think for me, 30 minutes is enough to start vlogging. Same goes with my Vlogtobers. That's what I'm going to do as well as my Vlogmas. I'm going to make sure that they're at least 25, 30 minutes long. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for going through this vlog with me and get to see a day in the life of a content creator. How do I do my batch filming on weekends or what I call content, uh, as I put it. As you can see it here, it's okay. It's too bright. It's too light. Ugh. Anyways, what's written here is content creation day. That's what's written content creation day that is my saturdays and my sundays so i'm going to clean this whiteboard and then i would add videos the three videos that are remaining uh for the new week because it's seven videos all in all actually it's two videos because i've done five then two left yes two left 
So, wow, that was a lot of work that's done today. I feel so productive. I feel so proud of myself. I always do feel proud of myself. If there's one feeling a YouTuber will tell you that feels good is when a video has been created, edited, and uploading on the channel. That liberation feeling is amazing. You can never beat it. Anyways, guys, let's see each other again in my next video, which is going to come on Monday. So if you like this vlog, like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.